Hello everyone and welcome to Witches of the Moon. My name is Jen and I am your Tuesday hostess. Now this week we're talking about mediumship and for some of you who that know or some of you may not know if you're new to this channel I am a psychic medium so mediumship is something that's part of my everyday world. Um, I am also a paranormal investigator so I use this when we go to investigations, I'm help others. I help others to gain closure um, from the loss of loved ones, and I'm also help, able to help figure out what's going on in a home. Um, so there are, you know, different ways that you can develop your mediumship. Um, you can do it one by meditation, obviously. Developing your clairs is another one, um, and figuring out which is your strongest is really good too. Now, if you're clairvoyant, you may see them with your own physical eyes, um, or you may see them um, like a movie playing in your mind's eye. Um, in your mind, you may see that. So again, with um, Claire audience, you may physically you may hear them with your human ears, or you may hear them with your psychic ears. Now everybody has psychic abilities. We all have them. Um, some have a little more than others, but we, for the most part, all have them. It's up to us of whether you we want to develop them or not. Um, you know, not everybody is really a medium, although we have the ability to connect to our loved ones. It's something that we can learn to do. But even if you're born as a medium, like I was and like others were, you, there are still things that you need to develop so that you can learn how to do readings properly and, um, you know, what the signs and what the symbols are. and. So that's very important. Um, for some people, meditation is going to be very important to you. Um, so for some people, they need to meditate before they um, do any type of readings or anything else. And I'm one that does not need to do meditation in order to connect to the spirit world. Um, I do meditation for other reasons, but it's not necessarily to connect to the spirit world. When I'm doing a meditation or listening to meditation music, it's normally because I just need to calm and center, pretty much. It means that there's a lot of things going on around me and I really need to hone it in and to focus. Um, I guess you could say I have a little bit of ADD <laughs> or ADHD. Um, which you know a lot of um, a lot of psychic psychic mediums do have anxiety and a lot of other types of issues, um, whether it be part of the spectrum um, with textures and that kind of thing. Which I do have um, I do have issues with textures when it comes to certain foods. I need to have them prepared a certain way, or I can't eat them at all. Like tomatoes I can't eat at all because it's a it's the texture of the tomato that I don't like um, I can have you know tomatoes in other formats but I cannot eat just like a regular tomato but yet other things like cabbage I can't eat that cooked I need to eat that raw and so um, you know a lot of a lot of mediums have different issues they have autoimmune issues and um, different things that happen to them and so it's it's you know an ongoing study um, with psychics and mediums but um, it's quite fascinating to continue to learn so if you have things like that chances are pretty good that um, you do have mediumship abilities and just maybe not aware of it or haven't developed that or don't want to develop that and that's okay not everybody is meant to be a medium. Um, you know, not everybody wants to develop their psychic abilities, and that's that's totally fine. Um, so one of the ways, or how we connect, I shouldn't say one of the ways, but the way that, that um, mediums connect to the spirit world is we have to do things to raise our vibration, and the spirit world has to 
lower their vibration in order for us to kind of meet in the middle. Hence why we're called the middle man, I guess. Um, but we also really need to um, kind of keep ourselves um, what I'm finding is the, the foods and stuff that we eat, we pretty much have to be like a clear channel um, for that to kind of happen. But ways that you can raise your vibration is singing and dancing and painting and, you know, doing whatever makes you happy and makes you feel good. That's what you want to do in order to raise your vibration. Um, so there are um, a couple of other ways that you can practice mediumship. Um, you can do channeling or automatic writing. You can semi-trans channel or full trans channel. Um, that does take some practice as does automatic writing. It's not something that you can just sit down and automatically do, even though it says automatic writing. <laughs> it's It does take a little bit of work and you do have to learn to give up control. And um, so that does take work. There's also remote viewing. Um, that's another great topic and um, something you might be interested in later on down the road. Um, there's different ways that you can tap into the spirit world by using different types of divination. There is tarot or oracle cards, um, dowsing, which also includes pendulums and that kind of thing. Um, scrying is another one. You can scry with fire or water or um, crystals, you know, there's a number of different ways that you can do that. There's cloud scrying, I mean, there's a lot of different different ways. Tea leaf reading, um, that's another thing. Um, Reiki is another great way to um, kind of connect to the spirit world. And, um, you know, mediumship is fascinating in itself. There is a mental mediumship and there's a physical mediumship. Um, the physical mediumship is more um, your automatic writing, your channeling, and, and that kind of thing. Your mental uh, mediumship comes from just um, knowing things, you know, um, your clairs, basically. The clairvoyance and the clairaudience and, and so on. You know, that's really what that's all about. And so... Um, I actually do everything but clear tasting. That is the one thing. And I think the reason why I don't do that um, could be because of the texture issue thing that I have. Most mediums um, that I know of have some kind of, they either, um, some of them have an, an autoimmune problem or, um, like me, they're they're um, they have problems with texture. Um, they're on the spectrum, and um, or there may be some other issues that they have. Anxiety is another one. Um, and those are you know when a lot of people now I know a lot of people have anxiety over many different things. It doesn't mean that you're a medium. Please don't think that. This is just something that other mediums across the world have begun to notice. Um, but, you, you know, if you were in a, in a car wreck or you were in an abusive relationship and that caused you to have anxiety over that thing, that doesn't mean that you're a medium. <laughs> don't, don't take my words and twist them. That doesn't mean that you're a medium. But if you've had anxiety pretty much all your life and you have no idea why you have anxiety, or if you're in large crowds, let's, let's start with that. If you're in large crowds and you have anxiety over that, then chances are pretty good you're a medium. Um, just like Teresa Caputo, she um, would go to school and she would see all of these beings and stuff. So that kind of freaked her out. And I can relate to that because it happened to me when I was seven. And um, yeah, that does kind of freak you out. So she would have anxiety over that. And so that's that's kind of, kind of what happens. Um, and those are the kind of anxieties that I'm talking about, um, where you um, have trouble being around a lot of people or seeing a lot of different things. And being an empath um, is something that I, I deal with um, all the time. And that's another thing. Um, 
that's quite interesting again that doesn't mean that you are a medium if you're an empath um, but most mediums that I know are also empaths and um, so it's quite interesting to kind of explore and to learn and um, yeah so there's kind of that you know as a medium we deal with signs and symbols and that's something that you know everybody needs to learn to develop so that they understand okay well when I'm seeing a police badge does it mean that it's an actual policeman or does it mean that this person um, you know was related to somebody that's a policeman you know that kind of thing and I'm just using that as an example I mean if I was to see a shield I would know right away that this person was a police officer or the person that I'm talking to at that moment, the reader is actually, or the one being read is actually the policeman. Um, so that kind of thing, that's that's kind of how that works. Um, so you, you do learn to develop that and you learn to develop your clairs um, and that kind of thing. So that's really where I'm going to leave that today. Um, if you have any questions about mediumship, please put them in the comments below. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, if Or you can go to Facebook and ask me questions. You can ask me on Witches of the Moon page. You can ask me on um, Professional Paranormal Investigations page. Um, or you can go to the website, professionalparanormalinvestigations.com and send me a message there or to intuitivejenhodgson dot com and you can leave me a message there or if you're interested in um, taking any courses or anything that would be the place to go so on that note I'm going to let you go and I hope everybody has a great day and I will see you next week in the next video so bye